Hey everyone, Andrikatz here and welcome back to my channel. Today I hopped on to 1007 PTR and explored the new faction Witterpal Fairbulk. So I'm here to tell you exactly what you need to do so you can hit Exalted with them in just a few hours. I did it in only 2.5 hours so I'm pretty sure you can do it too. Also I'm a bit sick so I hope you can understand and bear my voice sounding like this. So yeah, as many things in Dragonflight, this is an optional side thing you can do in your free time. No one is forcing you or whatever, it's completely up to you. You won't find any significant gear upgrade on your main here, but there is still a ton of fun rewards to earn and even learn a bit more about the Winterpell Fairbrook tribe. So if you're into toys, transmogs, manuscripts for your drakes, or you are a pet collector, or just love delving into any side storylines, then I highly recommend you invest a bit of time and grind this reputation. Reputation. So how this reputation works is you will have to farm Pramalis mobs in Azure Spawn to get liberated Fairbulk artifacts, which you will then hand in to Sovena, and in return you won't get rep, but you will get an additional skill point in Fairbulk language. And for every 25 points in Fairbulk language you will unlock a new quick quest line with the Winterpal Fairbulk that delves into more about their backstory and at the end of the quest you will get enough reputation which will push you to the next reputation level with them. As long as you have done the prerequisites when 1007 hits live, you will receive a mail from Sonova Snowdy and you can immediately start earning reputation with the Fairbulk. You can do all the requirements even from now, before 1007. So to unlock the Winterpell Fairbrook reputation, you simply have to complete a few quests in Azure Spawn, that is, if you haven't done them already. You need to complete the quests offered by Sonovan in Theron's Watch and Gars in Come Nowhere. Also grab and complete all of the quests from Old Grimdusk. Completing all of these quests will land you at unfriendly status around 2k, or maybe a bit more if you are a human. That's the current maximum reputation standing you can get with the Winterpal Fairbrook before patch 1007. So once 1007 hits live servers, Sonova Snowdin will mail you Sonova's request which will unlock the next part of the reputation. You need to take the mail at him at Theron's watch and he will offer you two more quests. After you complete them, he will introduce you to the whole artifact grinding. So you need to gather 5 liberated Fairbook artifacts from the Pramalis mobs in the specific zones of Azure Span. After completing this quest, he will also grant you a lot of reputation which takes you all the way to neutral. And this is where the fun starts. You will now be able to continue grinding the Fairbook artifacts from the Pramalis mobs and for every 5 artifacts you turn in, you will increase your Fairbook language skill by 1 point. So what I mean is in the first hand in you will get one point, then on the second you will get a second point and so on all the way to 100. Reaching 100 at the Fairbulk language will unlock the final questline which will get you to Exalted and you will also get the Winterpell Conversationalist achievement. This achievement claims also that it allows you to chat in Winterpell language but well I couldn't so I don't know if they're gonna add it later, for now it doesn't give you anything. But that would be fun, right? To talk in a different language other than your racist one? So I have pretty much tried all of the shown primalist areas for farming the artifacts and concluded that the southeast one at Imbu area seems to be the most efficient, for me at least. You can easily find a bunch of primalist mobs around, but you need to care because it's quite easy to overpull and most of them are quite annoying. They can stun you, they can toss you in the air, so yeah, quite annoying, but it worked for me just fine. The second best place is in Vakthor's range, which has less mobs and it's way safer. But if you ask me, I still prefer more the previous location at Imbu. In addition to the fur bulk artifacts, you can also rarely find intact scrap sticks, which can also be turned in for one point in fur bulk language. So you could say it's equal to five fur bulk artifacts. So, for every 25 points, you will unlock a new quick quest line with the Winterpell Fairbulk that tells you more about their story and gives you enough rep to reach the next reputation level. That means you will need 125 artifacts per reputation level and a grand total of 600 to go all the way from neutral to exalted. You can also gather all 600 artifacts in advance and then go hunt them in. You don't have to go back and forth and, you know, to give 5 and 5, you can just farm all of them at once. I think it's much quicker. And as I mentioned, with every intact scrap stick you get, you will basically detect 5 artifacts from the total. 
the drop chance for the Firebolt artifacts is actually quite high, so it shouldn't really take you more than a few hours. I did it solo on PTR and it took me 2 two and a half hours. So yeah, that's all on the rep grind side, but let's take a sneak peek on all of the rewards. There's basically two types of rewards, the ones you get from the quests and the ones you get from a vendor depending on your reputation standing. Let's take a look at the quest rewards first. At 25 skill, the quest in the end will get you the Winter Pelt Totem, a primary stat trinket currently 392 item level, which gives all party members a chance to deal extra nature damage. Might be good for alts or something, but I doubt that it's gonna be any significant upgrade on your main. At 50 skill, you will get a toy, a pair of reading glasses, which basically makes the world a bit blurry, but the map, the quests are all easily readable. You can't really put up with it for more than a few seconds, you get a bit dizzy. At 75 skill, the quest will give you another primary stat trinket, currently 395 item level, which has a chance to spawn a fur bulk to fight along your side for 30 seconds. Um, yeah, I guess maybe for alts might be useful, but again, I doubt that it's gonna be of any use on your main. And finally, reaching 100 skill, you will get the best reward of them all, the Primal Stave of Chlorin Fur, a toy which transforms you into a Winterpell fur bulk for 5 minutes and it's only on 10 minutes cooldown, so that's pretty neat. Unfortunately, the Furball cannot dance, but he can talk sit, which is pretty cool, I really li like uh, the way he sits, actually. <laughs> and that's all the quest rewards from hitting the specific brackets on 25, 50, 75 and 100 skill. Now onto the reputation rewards, which can be purchased from Katsi in Winterpell Hollow. Um, at this point on PTR, they only cost Dragonite supplies, and they also do require a specific rep level. For friendly status you can get food and drink, and when you hit honor you can unlock even more stuff, like this 392 item level 100 maze that apparently its usability is to stun and heal an ally, and it looks like this. It's themed around the fur box basically. But yeah, that's an unusual usability to stun and heal. Um, next we've got some back pieces, a brown clock and a food basket which contains, well, food. That's actually pretty cool. Also, you can unlock four different dragon customizations, one for each type of dragon. We've got the Stubby Snow customization for the Renew Proto Drake, the Exbon Fin Bug customization to the Windborg Velocity Drake, Selene Horns a customization to the Highland Drake, and Plated Nose customization for the Cliffside Wilder Drake. On Revere, you will unlock a 34 slot reagent bag, another food basket bag piece, a cooking recipe for firewater sorbet, a food that increases all secondary stats by 18 and also increases your size. You will also unlock 4 more additional dragon manuscripts the Malevolent Horns customization for the Renew Proto Drake, the Spiked Neck customization for the Windborg Velocity Drake, Horn Chin customization for the Hyla Drake, and the Spiked Horns customization for the Cliffside Wilder Drake. Also, you can buy another toy, the Snow Blacket, which is, well, what it says, a blacket made of snow. <laughs> It's actually really cool. And on Exalted, it seems to be only one reward, the Elemental Battle Pet, Drift Link, which is a nice elemental. Looks like the one next to the camp, but in a much smaller scale. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys, as this is a PTR content, everything is subject to change, but I would assume they're more likely to change the rewards if any. I don't think they will change the way you can grind rep with them, but we will see. What do you guys think of the rewards, of the rep grind? I mean, to be honest, I wasn't planning to farm it on PTR, as you know, it's kind of wasted, but that was actually fun and I wanted to learn more about the fur books. I don't know what it is with these guys, but they are quite fun. I tried to be as thorough as I could be, but if you got any questions, feel free to ask away in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching my content and make sure to drop a like if you have found this video helpful. If you want to support my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash games where I'm mostly streaming World of Warcraft. Good luck with whatever you're doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!